Whoa, whoa, whoa. Day 10 today of the 45G idea about a challenge. Yeah, baby. You know, I'm all pumped up. And trust me, I am tired. Because I've been training a lot of people today, but man, I'm so fired up. I'm so fired up. I love this stuff. And I hope you love it too. So today, day 10, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a few things that you probably haven't done before. And if you have, awesome. So this is what we're going to do. The first exercise is a very simple one. It just requires a little bit of coordination, but we're going to do a slow motion. That is really not that hard, okay? Feet together, right here. You're going to, your feet together knees in. You're going to squat down. You're going to cross your arms like this. You're going to cross straight down. And then you're going to bring those arms up. And you're going to bring those legs out at the same time. So we go like this. Breathe. That's your first exercise. 30 seconds on that one. The next one that will follow that one, you just right up, just down over here. You're gonna push this over so you can sit from this angle. You're gonna go right here. Feet together down, you're gonna bring it back, separate. That's all you're gonna do. As you bring it out of your knee, so you can see you're already contracting your obliques. So you're already working on core and abs at the same time. You do that for 30 seconds as well. So you go back to the first one. And that's it, that's the first exercise of this phase, the first two exercises of this phase one. 30 seconds each one, twice, back to back, that's two minutes. The next one we're gonna do, um, you did it before, but it works so great on your glutes. And I know that a lot of people there who like to firm up those glutes, tighten them up a little bit, and just make this nice, nice butt. And you know that you love to see those jeans and those bikinis when you go out there on the lake. Things like that. This is what we do here in Minnesota. We go out on the lake in summertime and we have a good time. So from here, in this position, you're going to swing those legs side to side. Just make sure all this, you bend this knee slightly a little bit and this one comes out straight out. You're going to do that for 30 seconds. Beautiful. That one for 30 seconds. And then follow to that one. All we're going to do is, you're going to come down over here. So regularly what we'll do, bicycle. Now this time we're going to come with the glutes. We're going to keep that back straight. Here. Flex your stomach. Just, just our shoulder back. We're gonna bring those hands over here behind. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring those legs off the floor, and we're gonna do the bicycle right from this position. If you feel like you're arching again, just reset yourself again, bring that upper back, flex, and keep going. If that's too hard, then you just come over here and do the bicycle. Just regular bicycle. And if that is still too hard, just put that knee over here and just alternate. Just like that. Just make sure that all the power comes from your core and not your neck. What you want to do is take a deep breath against the resistance. I mean, every time you bring it up, those shoulders breathe out. It'll come a time when you're going to breathe in, when you bring it back. Your body finds its own way, but make sure that you do alternate and every time you do it, you breathe out. And focus on your stomach because that's what you're working on at that time. So focus on bringing the pain there. Your mind is powerful, you can do whatever you want it to do. So that's what you do. You do that for 30 seconds and then you go back to the other one and repeat it over and over again. Like the one I show you with the swing. Legs out like that, and back again to that bicycle. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, twice. That's two minutes. Phase three, final phase. 
The exercises for this one is what you're going to do, what you did before, with your arms right open. We're going to be doing a lot of lunges, okay? Because lunges and push ups, whether you believe it or not, are the best all time, hands down, the best two workouts, period. Yeah, do not get sick of this because you're going to be doing them a lot. Love them. Learn them. Live it. I don't know. You can say whatever you want to, but uh, learn it, live it, love it, whatever you want to call it. But you make sure you do this, okay? So we're going to make sure. So again, bring those arms out. Flex your stomach. Most exercise you're going to do, you want to make sure you work on your core all the time. So tighten them up a little bit all the time. So we're going to come over here. Do those dynamic lunges. Or jumping lunges. If they are too hard for you on your knees, then just alternate one at a time. Just make sure you keep those arms wide open. That's that exercise of phase three. And the next one, which is very simple, is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the dynamic lunges, so push up lunges, push ups, I'm sorry, uh, dynamic push ups. Sorry about that, I got confused. Dynamic push ups. So, we're gonna go here, you did it before, but we're gonna add a little extra to that, okay? You're gonna come here, that is one. Ah, uh, ah, uh, here, here, here. You go back to the other side. Together here, here. So every time you crawl, you walk, or you move to side to side. You do a push up, then you bring those knees to the side. So you're working right away on your obliques. You do that for two minutes, non stop. It'll be hard to do, but you can do it. If you cannot do it just regular push ups, just do it on your knees like I showed you before and how to do it. Just like this, we're gonna go here, bam, here, and then when you come with this foot here, Obviously, you're gonna move this together and then back to here. And then you keep repeating the same thing over and over again, side to side. Again, take some notes with this exercise and writing down the repetitions and the times that you're gonna be doing. Have them handy for you in front of you that you can see it and just go at it. Back to back. Practice them a little bit if you want to so that you know the sequence so you can go back to back, back to back. And that's it. So we have those three phases for you guys here today. So make sure you do the best you can to understand them, to uh, see the way they're supposed to be done. So when you go at them, you do it with the right intensity. And you need to give it your all out of time. You know that here, in this place, we give everything, everything you got. You leave it right here for 20 minutes. And then you can go on with your day. Enjoy life, stay active, something fun with the kids, whatever, and eat healthy. It's very important. Over here, all we do is give you life, whether you believe it or not. Life expectancy, that's what we're working towards here, that we can live longer. Accidents happen and things like that. But as far as health concern, it's on you to make sure that you are healthy. Staying healthy by working out, do what you're supposed to be doing and eating healthy all the time. So let's just be a good example to everybody else out there, to our kids, so they can see us doing the right thing. Our generation depends on us, depends on you. Let's do it right. Check out my site, check out all the videos before, send us comments. We'll stay at getadumpfitness.com, go to my site and see a lot of uh, other um, great tips, Christian tips for you as well. Send us a comment. We would like to know how you're doing, how we're doing, if anything you don't like, if it is a, uh, any workout exercise that is being a little difficult for you, we can work on different modifications for those. I can only do so much and so much little, and I don't want to overwhelm you with too much time. Until then, Jose, you know what's up? Sal, baby.